let's pretend I have some new images that were shot and I'm out and about. You basically have a memory card uh, that you shot with your camera. So I would take this memory card I would plug it into the card reader on the dock. So if you run into that where you try and use the one that looks like the one you should use and it doesn't work, let me show you the one that will work. So instead of saying from camera device, if camera device doesn't work, say or tap on from files. So if I tap on from files, that'll navigate you to your iCloud drive. But if you tap on browse, you'll see your device listed in the devices. So that Nikon Z62 is the actual memory card. That's what the card is called. And it sees them there. So if I tap on that, that's addressing that actual memory card that's plugged into the iPad. And if I go to DCIM, which is the folder that normally has all your images, there they are. Let me hit select. I'm just going to start tapping on some random ones. Because if I don't, by the way, if you don't hit select, it just assumes you want to bring on the first one you tapped in. So or as soon as you want to bring in the first one you tapped on. So in this case, since I want more than one, I hit select first, and then I'm gonna say I want that one. And I'm just, I, they're all the same. I'm just randomly picking a few here. So if I say open instead of done, then it should start bringing those images in. So those raw files have now made their way in to Lightroom on my iPad. There they are, the five, five or how many ever I selected. They're there. And I can see the cloud icon in the upper right corner is now uploading them. Because if you have an internet connection when you do this, they will upload to the cloud and back up. So even when you're out and about, you're in the field, you don't have a laptop with you, you're in the middle of a jungle, you're in the middle of a beach, you're in the middle of somewhere. If you have a 4G or 5G connection, great, your images will back up. If not, they'll just stay local on your device until you do get an internet connection and then they will um, back up at that point. They will upload to the cloud. So for example, um, I'm watching them come in on the desktop. So if I switch over to the desktop, there they are. They're, in the they're on the desktop already because the desktop was left open. So back at home, 200, 500, 2000 miles away, whatever it is, um, those images would also be on my computer at home because I left Lightroom open. Or the next time I open Lightroom, they would come in. The images, came in to Lightroom and they, I, I like the fact also that they come in to the album I'm in because that saves me time. Um, Cause a lot of times when you add photos, they just go to the all photos action or area and then you have to add them to the albums you want them in. But because I was in the album I wanted them on, they came in here first, great. So now I can do anything I would normally do. So for example, if I tap on one of these photos, great. It takes me into Lightroom's editing capabilities where I see all the normal stuff that I normally would see. So for example, if I tap on uh, browse profiles and I choose Adobe Landscape, which is a raw profile, you, you guys see me do this all the time. That's the one I want. If I go back from there, so now it's on Adobe Landscape. If I hit auto tone, which I always do, there's my auto tone, great. Um, that horizon looks a little crooked to me. It could just be the way it is, but it looks a little crooked to me. So I can go to crop and I just start doing all the things I normally do. I can straighten it a little bit. There we go. That looks straighter to me now. I'm done. And then I can go in and start doing any other editing I want. So if I go into, um, we did the lighting already from auto, but if I want to lighten it up a little bit more, keep in mind this was sunrise. So it wasn't that bright out yet. Great. If I want to go to color, I've got all my color capabilities, so I want to warm it up a little bit more. I can warm it up a little bit more, but I kind of like the, the, the blue. Um, if I go to effects, I can, for example, add a little dehaze, which I normally do to my photos, especially the ones outside, and add a little dehaze to the photo. So I'm doing all the same Lightroom stuff I normally do. So if I go to masking, for example, uh, if I go to the masking, oops, masking here, I can choose plus sign. If I hit the plus sign at the bottom, I've got all the same masking capabilities. So uh, no, I don't need a tour. I kind of got this. If I choose select sky, uh, it will detect the sky in the image, hopefully. And there's the sky has now been masked, so I can do anything to the sky that I want. So maybe I want to add a little bit more dehaze to the sky. Not that much. I could really overdo it, but no, we don't want to overdo it. Uh, any color things I want to do to the sky. So again, 
want to make it really blue or if I want to make it really warm I can do any one of those things or make it a different color altogether great so it's, I'm just editing to taste at this point doing all the normal things I would do in Lightroom wow that really looks blue on your screen hang on <laughs> back off that a little bit just looking at seeing how blue that looks for you guys okay so done I've done the masking I've done everything and of course once you're out of the edit meaning as long as you're in editing, nothing syncs. But as soon as I back out of that image, now those changes will sync to the cloud as well. The image was already backed up and uploaded. We already saw it on the computer. So every time I make an edit, the only thing that has to get synced is the metadata of the edit. See you later, everybody.